One important aspect is people are eating much more than what they should eat. Between one meal and the next meal, there must be an eight-hour space. Whatever you have health problems, minimum fifty percent will go away in six weeks' time. Six weeks? Wow. Namaste, world raisers. Sabina and Roger here. Let's watch the right way to do intermittent fasting for maximum benefit. A request by our wonderful member, Facts, Facts Never, Never Lie. Lie. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah, we know a little bit about intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. Every time I talk to my good friend Mosin, he always wants to talk about it and ask uh, if we're practicing or doing it. And I always say, no, uh, haven't done like full fasting, but intermittent, I think we've done it a few times. Sabina has and I've done it sporadically. But anyways, we've <laughs> never heard from Satguru about it. So let's dive right into this. Namaskaram Satguru. Fasting on auspicious days has existed in India since time immemorial, but many Indians believe that it's unscientific and illogical. Until the work on autophagy induced during fasting has been awarded the Nobel Prize. Even I started doing intermittent fasting this year. <laughs> so why are such beneficial ancient practices being labeled orthodox and then immediately implemented once there is a Western approval. That's because you don't have the right color of the skin. Oh, so <laughs> and I've been talking about this for forty years, all right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I have seen hundreds and thousands of people who just become healthy and well simply because they are not fueling up all the time when the tank is spilling. <laughs> in the yoga center, everybody eats at ten o'clock in the morning and at seven o'clock in the evening. Our lives are very physically active. <laughs> there are no… Uh, Automobiles inside the ashram, it's a large place, everybody either walks or cycles. Even if you have to go to the dining hall, it's a kilometer. If you want to go <laughs> to your workplace, it's half a kilometer, one kilometer, like this. All the time people are <laughs> physically active. Nice. So everybody is very hungry by the time it's 3.30, <laughs> 4 o'clock in the evening, they're extremely hungry. But we learn to live with that because hunger… Uh, Empty stomach and hunger are two different things. Mm -hmm. Hunger means your energy levels start dropping. But empty mm -hmm. stomach is a good thing. In the yogic sciences, today modern science also is coming in line with this. But what we know by our experience, you will spend a billion dollars to come there. Because research is all about how many million dollars, that's mm -hmm. how it is. <laughs> Your body and your brain works at its best only when your stomach is empty. Mm -hmm. So we always make sure we eat in such a way, how much ever we eat, our stomach must be always empty within two to two and a half hours time maximum. So we go to bed hungry always. <laughs> People think they cannot sleep. They can sleep. On an average, for twenty-five years on an average, I slept only two and a half to three hours. These days I'm getting little lazy and speaking, sleeping anywhere between three and a half to four and a half hours in spite of the level of travel that I have. When I say level of travel, if I say my level of travel in the next few days, you will fall off your chair. Yes? Should I tell you? No, not necessarily <laughs> Because in the next ten days, I'm in five different countries doing I don't know how many events, all kinds of events. So, you are able to keep this up simply because you don't overeat. It's very, very important. Everybody eats two meals. I generally eat only one meal, 4.35 in the evening because I don't like to sit in front of the plate and worry about how much to eat. I like to eat well. So, 4.35 in the evening if I eat a meal, it's only next day. Is this enough? It's, am I looking? Okay, hello? 
I'm not looking like your patient, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not going to come to you <laughs> because any correction and purification that needs to happen in the body, your stomach needs to be empty, it's very, very important. Otherwise, the purification on the cellular level will not happen. You pile up things and then you have all kinds of problems. The first thing is inertia in the body. Inertia means there are many levels of inertia, if you don't notice all that, the amount of sleep that you have is inertia. All of you, you have come here to live or… Hello? <laughs> to live, right? Yeah. Not here, here, I'm saying to this life. You want to live or… <laughs> <laughs> the intention of life is to live, isn't it? <laughs> but because you talked about American doctors, this is all being picked up here also. All American doctors say minimum seven to eight hours you must sleep. So that means one third of your life you must sleep. Another two, three hours, four hours goes in bath, toilet, eating, this, 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 you know. So literally fifty percent of your life is just maintenance. Hmm. Suppose you have a vehicle, you have a motorcycle or a car, if it goes to service one day in a month, all right to keep it. If it goes to service fifteen days in a month, this is a nuisance, isn't it so? <laughs> Most people have made their systems into a nuisance because their own body is a big impediment in their life. Anything they want to do, their body will not allow them to do. So in this there are many aspects. One important aspect is people are eating much more than what they should eat, hmm. simply because they have been told, you must eat more, otherwise you will become weak, this, that. No, it is the way you keep your body. Hmm. A fuel… today everybody is trying to work towards a fuel-efficient car, motorcycle, everything. This means what? If the machine runs smoothly, it will consume less fuel, isn't it? So if you sit here and you are very much at ease, now it will consume less fuel. If you <laughs> like this all the time, <laughs> then it will consume more fuel, it will want you to eat. Compulsiveness will come about this. So, this new name, intermittent eating <laughs> you should see in United States people come to our programs, our programs will run ten hours, twelve hours. So, uh, but they will come with some biscuit and something else. They say, I have uh, sugar intolerance, I have to, I have to eat. Hmm. I tell them, you just be here, you're not going to die, I'll ensure because I don't want anybody dead on my hands, all right <laughs> I'll make sure, you first day, no, 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 I have to eat. By third day, they gave up all that, twelve hours without food they sat there, they're perfectly fine. Hmm. See, health is not something you can do from outside, health is hmm. something you have to do from within. From outside, when something goes wrong, you can seek some help. But all the time something is wrong with you, this means what? You're a faulty machine? <laughs> yes? All the time something is wrong with you, why? That's not how this is designed. This is designed for health. Every cell in your body is designed to create health, isn't it? They're all working hard to create health, except you. So, minimum eight hours gap is what is recommended in yoga. Between one meal and the next meal, there must be an eight hour space. If you do this, you will see half your problems of health, whatever you have health problems, minimum fifty percent will go away in six weeks' time. If you do certain other things which may right now seem little extreme to you, if you have a little yogic practice, something meditative within you, then you will see ninety percent of your problem will go out. Ten percent if it still persists, we can treat it. Now. It's become like this, the healthcare systems, especially where there is heavy insurance policies. Mm. People are eating and drinking all kinds of rubbish, go to the doctor and say, fix me. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> this is not how it works <laughs> <laughs>
another fantastic youth and truth snippet. Yeah, I really, really enjoy them. Yeah, I was just going to touch on that too. Yeah, these youth and truth videos are great, mm-hmm. right? So, uh, yeah, and this one was at a, looks like a medical sciences school. Mm-hmm. So they were all like doctors and nurses students, perhaps. So, uh, yeah, and then getting down to that question, because I, I know also that, yeah, intermittent fasting, yeah, is huge. So I think, yeah, there's a big surge in the West, in America and stuff, and uh, a big surge. It was uh, uh, my brother-in-law, Chris, was actually talking about it a few years ago. He was really into it, read a book, and he was trying to get, you know, everybody to do it. And, uh, yeah, and it makes a lot of sense. So it was so funny when Satguru was like, we've been talking about this for 40 years, right? But then, uh, you know, once the West approves it, then it becomes, you know, super popular. So so I'm I'm waiting for a big shift to happen. And I think it's starting to happen too, that the yogic wisdom, right? So the wisdom of the East is starting to, you know, infiltrate the West more and more, which is great because this ancient wisdom is like, you know, part of our heritage as all <laughs> you know, human beings, and we need to, you know, like, cherish these teachings and this wisdom, you know, more and more, not just, you know, get the approval of the West. But that being said, you know, we should also, you know, just be happy that, okay, more and more people are, you know, practicing such wisdom, right, no matter, you know, what the cause. Um, But yeah, so great. So I'm, so I'm down. I'm down to empty the tank. Is he really? Until the evening comes and there are these snacks in the cupboard. I have the habit of uh, snacking in the evening, Mm -hmm, I must admit. (laughs) Yeah. However, I also have the habit of listening to what Satguru says. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, now's the time, maybe. Yeah, I mean, um, food and eating what kind of food, eating how much food is such a big topic. Everybody is talking about it. Mm. Um, yeah, we have, I have all kinds of experiences with full fast, with intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting, and I always loved it. Sometimes mm. it's easier, sometimes not. I used to do intermittent fasting a lot. Um, yeah. It's just mostly with the motivation to keep my weight down. <laughs> now I somehow have, yeah, don't have to worry about that. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah. So in monasteries, when we used to live, when we went, did retreat in Laudo, for example, we only mm-hmm. had two meals a day anyways. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we did that for three months. And then, yeah, during Vajrasattva's, you know, retreats, uh, Buddhist retreats, you mm-hmm. take certain vows um, not to eat after 12, which, and often you only have one to two meals a day. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's wonderful times. But it's not always easy and you don't always right away feel awesome. Like mm-hmm. after the Tony Robbins event this year, we did a detox. Mm-hmm. We ate much, much less and we ate much, much better than usual. And, oh, I felt so grumpy the first days. And I always thought I was eating well. Mm -hmm. But you can always, you know, step it up. And then you can really see um, that you were not eating so well because you have a real detox. And not just detox the body, but the mind is getting really grumpy. Mm -hmm. I want my coffee. I got headaches because we didn't have coffee for that time. Mm -hmm. And so on and so forth. It's really... Oh, I love experimenting with food and with um, mm. eating. It always brought me joy, but I never stuck with one thing forever. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, so for us too, and for me, I think I get into the excuse of, you know, because we are eating, you know, very healthy. Sabine cooks all of our <laughs> meals, right? So for the most part, you know, it's extremely healthy other than, you know, my snacking addictions. And even my snacks aren't the worst. It's like nuts and seeds. I really like sunflower seeds. Um, But that being said, so am I using that as an excuse to, oh, I can eat more and more and more because it's healthy. So so I don't think so, right? So Satguru is saying, yeah, of course, Satguru is eating super healthy. And, but he's only eating like, you know, one meal a day and he's doing fine. So, so I like what he said about the, you know, the stomach needs to be empty, right? Mm. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm willing to give it a go. And I really wonder if you changed your ha eating habit since we met. Because at the beginning, I remember you ate so little. Compared to me, I can eat so much. And Roger was always eating very little. And then I remember you saying, well, David Hawkins said you don't have to eat much. Hmm. And I was like, wow. And I was really impressed. But then, I don't know. <laughs> But then the old, that's the <laughs> habitual tendencies, right? They come back. Because at those times... It you was know, in Nepal. We were really, uh, you know, practicing the teachings, right? We were doing retreats, yeah. staying in monasteries, um, very focused on the meditative, you know, <laughs> lifestyle. And then not to say that that's gone away completely. Of course, I'm always focused on meditation and practice and mm -hmm. spiritual teachings and all that. But you get more accustomed to, you know, being at home mm -hmm. and then the habits come back and then... You know, snacking is one of them, you know, and and when there's food just so readily available at mm -hmm. all times, like Sabina cooks like <laughs> a lot, right? <laughs> so we'll find ourselves, you know, going for another plate of food, you know, two or three hours after it's been made. So <laughs> we're both guilty of that. <laughs> yeah, I just cook a lot at the time, so I have to cook less. Um, yeah, we're having right. rice and dal at the moment, by the way. So. Big pot of dal. <laughs> She just whipped up a batch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyways. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, love this video. Love Satguru's advice. And I like how it's just clarifying, too. So all of we world raisers in the world raiser community, let's understand that this wisdom... You know, it didn't come up from the West in the West's approval. This is ancient <laughs> knowledge and wisdom. Satguru has been teaching it for 40 years. So, uh, yeah, and as we're calling Satguru a teacher now, mm -hmm. we will attempt this. Uh, so let us know if you guys want updates. We're going to try some fasting. and Oh, twi two times a day? You want to go to two well, times a day? I've also been telling Sabina that I've wanted to do a fast for a while now, right? Since my good friend Mosin's been talking about it to me so much. And I'm like, I haven't actually done like a full fast. So I want to do that as well. And, uh, you know, try it. Get the cleanse, right? So uh, anyways, uh, let us know if you want to know more about our fasting adventures. If we get enough comments, say that they, you know, would like a... An update video maybe we could try something for seven days and then talk about it yeah after christmas though oh yeah uh yeah. christmas is coming up so that's a big excuse <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah we don't want to i have so much plan with the christmas food, feasts so, so, no. <laughs> so, yeah so down the road uh yeah we'll get into some uh, fasting and uh, learn more about it mm -hmm. and uh dive into it experiment with it explore and see how we feel so uh thank you so much for joining us if you like this video as much as we did please hit that like button remember to subscribe it really really helps the channel and then let us know what you think down in the comments if you've ever done fasting or intermittent fasting if you know of the benefits you know let us know that'll inspire us um <laughs> so yeah remember raise yourself And raise the world. Thank you so much, everyone. And a very special thank you to all our members. We love you. Peace. I think that is the messiest video we have ever did. <laughs> Why? It's just this figuring back and forth. And yeah, that's too old. Well, actually, Christmas is coming up. Anyway. Oh, that's going to be fine. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> right? If you guys like us bickering back and forth, let us know. <laughs>